Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Astro Narc. Bing. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I, you know what? We're pulling out the stops today. What? What? We're pulling out the stops today because we have not beaten this mode yet. I think that we can make this happen, though. I genuinely think that we can do this. And I think we can do it well. I. I'm not sure what to get here. Either HP or... Let's get some defense. The shield is based off of the defense, so let's go with the defense. Uh, we don't really care that much about healing wounds. Um, seek those with health and speed. I don't care that much particularly either. Use target's own man against him. I feel like we're not particularly hard countered by much of any of this. I don't know if this is a good idea. We've been doing this strat. I apologize. You know, win or lose on this run, this will be the last time we uh, we will retire the outlaw and the alchemist for a little while after this run. That is going to be the facts. Mark my word. 10 attack, minus 20% speed. Your attacks have a 15% chance to stun your target for two seconds. A huge penalty to attack speed, but does the outlaw care? Does the outlaw care? Option two, full plate armor. Let's be smart. Let's be safe. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Uh, I am going to want to go... There, I, I think that we want to make sure we do enough normal battles. Bleed for 50% attack damage, 90 over 10 seconds to your target, and any adjacent enemies. Alright. It's fine. Apply, yeah, apply rune. I mean, that's not great. Like, he, he, let's be real. There's a chance this guy dies. Okay, so we got the bleed on the adjacents there. It's okay. We're doing fine. Got good damage here. Not a, not a worry, not a care in the world. Not a worry, not a care in the world. Deal additional damage to your target equal to 6% of your missing HP. Hmm. That could be pretty good on the outlaw. 30% of your current HP. 20% more MP per second. 50 HP, 20% more MP per second. Two more a second. Three percent of your current HP. I'm gonna take it for mo mostly for the flat uh, attack damage that we are gonna be generating there. We're gonna go normal battle, normal battle uh, event. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can't cleanse it, though, so maybe it's actually not fine now that I think about it. We got the negate there. The poison went on anyways, and it's going to get duplicated. All right, we're golden. We're golden. No problemo. No problemo. All your damage is dealt as if they have 15 less defense. When your target is defeated, gain 10, 10 attack and 10% speed for four seconds. That's curious. We don't really, like, I don't care about uh, doing damages if they have less defense. Not when our primary source of damage is going to be poison. It just doesn't really matter to me, you know? Uh, your attacks heal you for the damage dealt. Reduce a random enemy's max HP. Yep, this is the ideal here, I'd say. Should be all solid here. Boom. Boom, duplicated. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Just like that, it's... It, like a moth to a flame. Like a weird bad-eyed moth to a weirdo flame. Healing received is increased by 15%. I, I certainly don't hate that idea. I certainly don't hate that idea either. We get healed from the minor blessings here don't we yeah we, we have a chance to gain that we also have the passive there 
I don't think that that is necessarily what we're looking for, though. I think we take the full plate armor, because the shield is based off of our, our, uh, our defense on the Paladin. We've got, like, no... This is weird. But I guess that's right. Wait, is it? There. That'll work. Uh, we've got, like, no uh, no money all of a the sudden there. I mean, I think we're going to be all right. So you can't target the hidden. So we should be fine there. You got a hell of a lot of uh, debuffs on you, you son of a gun. Attackers deal 15% attack damage to themselves. Maybe. Zephyr's so good, though. Like. Zephyr, Zephyr is... I'm gonna... I, I'll go out and say it. I think Zephyr might even potentially potentially be too good but i don't nerve it don't nerve it i still need help um so logically it is better on him but we've talked about it in the past how he duplicates the 100 percent attack damage to all enemies and duplicate up to three random poison effects he duplicates poison effects and we don't kind of want to we don't want to junk up the deck per se I, I, I guess is how you would maybe want to look at it. I'll take this. Because we're, we're missing items. This is the truth. We, we are missing items right now. Quite a bit. Quite a bit of them. There's no penalty for them standing by each other, so we want to do this. Because then he can get the shielding for whatever it's worth. And what is it worth? I don't know. The pier because it's, it's piercing damage. I'm just hoping that the healing keeps him alive. Okay. That's going a little sloppy there. Come on. Can we get another healing proc, please? We're in. We're in. That was a little, a little, a little bit grosser than I uh, would have really liked. Um, Starting MP up. Cool. At the start of combat, reduce the attack and defense of all enemies for four seconds. Cool. Uh, Ten defense. Your attacks deal additional damage equal to 15% of your defense to all enemies. Cooler. All right. Active ability up. You don't have very much attack damage, do you? Well, actually, it's pretty good. Let's upgrade his poison. It's a good start. We don't have any other option but to go to the shop. It's kind of a always a shame to go here when you don't got uh, basically anything. Final. Oh, how much? 15, 10, 15. So that's it's 30. Oh, no. 45. Wait. It's that good. It's that good. <laughs> it is, it's that important. Gain a shield equal to 150% of your defense. It is that important. 10 defense, 22 defense. We, we got to do it. Uh, we, we're, we're now left with a little bit of garbage there, but I guess that's fine. Plus 100 HP. Gives him a better heal there. I guess we'll just set that item there. We could sell it, I guess. 20. I, I, let's sell it. I actually, I don't anticipate us really using that on anybody else except for the Paladin. And right now we just want that raw shielding there. Is this an elite? Our next fight is an elite. I don't think so. Upgraded item. Lose seven morale. This is really sketchy, but honestly, we've been dying to, um, <laughs> we've been dying to bosses anyways. Your attacks deal additional damage equal to 60% of your defense. Now, that's very tempting. Uh, 20 starting MP plus 10 attack. Your attacks steal 2 MP from your target. All right, you just you take that, I suppose. 
We do want the extra starting MP because we want to go first. 50% piercing. Attackers gain 5 MP, grant you 10 MP. I mean, you know. What are you, you going to do? Just go for it, right? This should be great, though. There we go, and then that should get duped. There should be... Yep, there was only three on there, so it's a guarantee that we duped the correct one. Quote, unquote. Look at that damage ticking up there. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. This is working quite well. Your attacks cause your target to bleed for 30% additional attack damage. 20 extra flat damage. I wish we could see what it would look like. Uh, 50 HP, 10 defense, gain negate. I could 100% see value in that. Gain one single negate. I'll take this damage. Uh, so for the passive, the burn. Tax poison two random enemies for 8% attack damage. Uh, yeah. Grant a random minor blessing to two heroes. I, I like the idea of the pocket sand getting upgraded because one, it helps him be a little bit more solid and tanky. So how much does this do? 27 damage over 10 seconds. 27 piercing damage. Or 20... Oh, but that's only current, and you're often not at current. So you take that, I guess, because cause why not, I suppose? And then we'll pop on up to the event. Pop on up to the old event there. Gain an ability orb. All heroes lose four attack permanently. Random ability is upgraded. Lose 10 morale. Do we just do that because we are... Let's do it. Yeah. We, we've been... I think that we should be sacrificing morale more often. Because of the fact that we will often die to the bosses. Not always, but often. Every defeated ally, reduce your active ability cost by 10. Fully heal the weakest ally and apply a poison to them for 50% of the amount healed every 3 seconds. And we're, we're going to duplicate that. So, in theory, we should kind of rock this. Who would they attack? You would attack him. Attack. attack. Just trying to think if we can. Your attacks reduce your target's attack by two for ten seconds. Apply ruin. Poisonous prick. I mean, here's the thing. He would just pop. All right. He's probably gonna pop anyways. And we only, yeah, we re no, we remove all negative effects because we. Uh, that's right. Boom. All right. So we basically ate all that poison, and now nobody has to have it. Uh, this is rough. This is rough. This is incredibly rough. This poison is too much. Too much for us to handle. After, or as soon as we decided to sacrifice some morale, we, uh, oh, we run into that. 25 extra starting MP. I just don't think it's that good. First 10 attacks grant 3 MP. I think that's better for us. I think we need to just make sure that we upgrade his ability. I think we can get rid of Giant's Club even potentially here if it's it's 25, right? 20. Oh, come on. No. Hoy 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 hoy. All heroes gain 7 MP on attacks. Three frosts have their attack reduced. Where are we going? It's the middle. It's the boss battle. It is... The... Oh, God. What is this boss? I don't remember. Oh, it's the ruin guy. 
It's the bleed and ruin guy. So let's get cure all. I'll be real. That's obviously very tempting, but I think it's slightly disynergistic. We don't really want any other sources of poison. We already have probably arguably too many. Uh, ooh, what? Hmm. Same thing. I think this is okay. Like, it's not... I don't like it. It's not great. I don't like that we're reducing the attack, but we should be able to cleanse that off. Yep, we did indeed. So we kind of, like... I, I do really like the uh, that part of the outlaw, how with max upgrade pocket sand, we can kind of... We could kind of eat a lot of status effects and remove them from, basically remove them from the fight entirely. This piercing damage does pop us. We are we are countered by that, but we're fine. All is well in the world. Increase your speed by 2% per second. We can have two, it's not even unique. Attack, steal additional damage, equal to, yeah. I'll take a second Zephyr. I'll take a second Zephyr. All right. You know, attack supply ruin and bleed. T 10 piercing attack damage for every bleed effect on the target. Consume a positive effect, healing for, I mean, you know. There's nothing we can really do. It's either we're going to die here or he's going to die here. One of the two is going to happen. Okay, duplicate. We got rid of that poison there. Or the, uh, not the poison. We got rid of... Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're going to duplicate poison. This guy's super toast. Unbelievably toast. Unbelievably toast. Bleed on our paladin and all. Tax apply leech. It's tempting. Uh, gain a major blessing for every five morale. A large increase to attack, defense, speed, or a heal over time. Gain a... Attack to... Attack... Wait. Attack, attack, attack to... Active ability increases your attack by 12. Who... There's... Ronin? Ronin? Ronin, maybe? Wild Mage, maybe? Cost five less every time it's used. An additional 150% attack damage for each time this ability has hit that enemy up to twice. We could upgrade that more. Hmm. I think we take Ronin, right? Fifty-eight. It's a pretty, and and we'll, we'll take the uh, we'll probably take the assassin last. I mean, obviously, the Berserker is the other logical concept there. The, no, we do Berserker. What am I talking about? We have two Zephyr Pendants. We have two Zephyr Pendants. We do this. This is what we do. It's a, it's a duh. It's a big duh from me. All right. Okay, so Shielding Gain... From by all heroes is increased by 30% is almost certainly oh it's 100% that's absolutely what we do uh streets strong magical abilities bleed you dry okay we're gonna want to avoid absolutely avoid the top top lane there right yep okay so <laughs> this is it's weird I, I it's not even this isn't even great for you is it I, you know, what is your attack? 50? Active ability increases your attack. 
No, I mean, it's just important for us for the beginning initial strike to be uh, higher. That's the thing. Okay, so this is going to get duplicated. It's all duplicated. You are starting to do big damage, I would assume, right? I think that there's something better than Headdress of Fury. I really do. Um, and I think it might be Searing Edge. However, it could also be Enchanter's Chainmail. Actually, I think it's Enchanter's Chainmail. Uh, it's not for you, though. That is going to be for you. We, we get that. We upgrade it so that we cannot take any piercing damage. Then they can't do anything to us. Right? Like, I mean, it's not that they can't do anything to us, but they're not going to do very much to us by comparison. Yeah, you're attacking that back line there, huh? Whoa! We got random bopped. All right, so we duplicated. Hopefully, the uh, the outlaw stuff is still there. I just don't want to full loss this. Oh, that sucked. We got random bopped. One MP from attackers. Start of combat, gain 20 attack. Maybe. I think we take the money. Okay. Yeah, da, da, do, do, do. There's a hell of a lot of events in the middle. It doesn't mean. Apply Doom to all enemies. Activate ability. God dang, man. Uh, with that in mind. We do want it to be him, I guess. Oh, God, this sucks. Piercing damage and doom. Piercing damage and doom will really just pop our... Oh, well. You know what? If I see doom show up, I think we do it, right? Get rid of the doom. All right, we're fine. We've done it. We didn't. We probably didn't need to, per se. Heal 4% max HP every two seconds. Maybe? Sixty MP. Okay. This is This is finally it. There we go. We finally got something useful for you. Our wonderful, wonderful support. Sixty gold, random hero has fifty percent less HP, seventy five percent chance to gain sixty gold without penalty. Not good. Not good. All right. Well, but it, it, I guess of all the units for it to be, it's definitely the best for it to... Oh. Hi. <laughs> I did not anticipate that. Okay. Burn, poison, and bleed. That is so good. So good. What else does it do? And doom. Okay, there we go. Enchantress Chainmail, Final Bastion. This tank is uh, disgusting now. All right, so we can, we're can we just going on a big old trail of events here. All heroes reduce the cost of their active abilities by 3 MP permanently. Yes. I don't, I don't want to change my path. My path is great. Look at it. It's just a whole bunch of events. I do think we should maybe get a couple fights in, though. Deal, bah, 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 fit 150% damage to your target. Reduce their defense by 15. Hit a second enemy with the same effect. Ugh. Attackers bleed for 15% attack damage over 10 seconds. Deal piercing damage. Right? We just deal with it, right? We deal with that first thing. Wait, what? Oh, God, you peace. Wait, you're going to be attacking him, aren't you? Okay, well, never mind. He didn't change targets. I probably shouldn't have done that, but yikes. Okay, so... This is... I think it's going to be way more useful in the long run there. I do, I do. I do, I do, I do. 
Okay, so we are not immune to doom. There's nothing we can do really here. Aside from just hope we kill fast. Okay, no, that shield is actually going to make us make everything totally fine here. Healing received. 20 starting MP, immunity to silence. Eh? Maybe. He's starting MP. Immunity to silence. 15. That puts him at... Oh, God. Math. Down to 55. You're at... You're at 37. Oh, shoot. It, it wouldn't be 55. It would be 56. So... It would be 36. Wait a minute. Shoot. Ah! This is, I think this is actually maybe not a bad idea. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Immunity to silence. Why not? Why not? Normal battle. We'll get some money. We can sell. Honestly, we might be able to just sell this headdress here. Uh, and I'm going to say I don't want to... Hmm. 300 damage. I mean, this is bad. Not much to say but that. Oh, you know, allies, target. To your target, you, your target, and any adjacent enemies burn for a large amount of damage. Maybe we do do this. We'll cleanse it. We just, we do this and we cross our fingers that we don't get bad RNG'd into the random hit from Stubborn Fool. That's my... It's just, uh, it's just what happens, I guess. That's just what happens. Stubborn Fool ruins us. It truly, truly seems to ruin us. Ah, pre-upgraded. A pre-upgraded Zephyr. We take those. We can probably sell our old Zephyr. I don't think we're going to run two characters with Zephyr on him. I don't think we're going to run this. I don't think we're going to run that. All right, so. 45 and the Doom. I feel like we could... I think we can get better items for this character, too. Witch's Stick, maybe. Let's get the fully upgraded Bastion there. Like, I, I'm risking the Biscuit here, but I think we can... All right, well. Enemy who's done the most attack damage. Last fight, it was the outlaw. So we, I think we'd want to just say who cares about getting that initial damage. Because he doesn't really apply any status effects anyways. He applies stun, but it's just not going to matter. Yep. Please get healed. Please get healed. Please get healed. Please get healed. Incoming dead outlaw. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like Royal Morningstar could... 15% chance to stun for two seconds. It, it's hard to deny that that's really good. Um, Could we possibly... 20% chance to stun for 0.5 seconds. Over the course of a fight... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick that up. And over the course of the fight, I am going to figure out... How quickly does he reach max speed anyways? To all enemies steal a random positive effect. If an enemy doesn't have an effect stolen. Bleed. Okay. Yeah. This one we do want to go for this because we want to get rid of the bleed effects if it even ends up proccing. All right. This is... This is okay. This is... This is okay. It's okay if the outlaw dies there. Oof. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, we got ourselves another active, which is certainly going on uh, the old alchemist. So now we duplicate nine poison effects. Nine. This is this is going pretty well. Stop giving me these guys, preacher. He burns the adjacent. Does any... I guess he doesn't need to be giving anybody else shield. Yeah. I guess that's fine. I do not like the Doom, but maybe this shielding will be good enough, he says, knowing full well disasters coming his way. Oh, come on. The incoming dead. Wait, Doom? Wait, Doom does not is not piercing. Doom isn't piercing? Wow, I really thought it was. Ooh, do, 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 do. 700 and then okay 30 percent of 700 it's it's not bad it's a 200 ish shield initially we already have a pretty big one there That's very interesting. I'm going to say Hero Sigil or nothing. Though, no, I think we go with the nothing. I, I, I'm not going to say that... I'm not going to sit here and say that my outlaw items are perfect or anything. Random lesser effect permanently. 50 max HP, 5 defense permanently. All heroes reduce the cost of their active abilities by 5 MP permanently. All heroes gain 8 attack. I I want to live. I want to live. I think we need defense. We need just raw, good old fashioned defense. Awesome. Wait, is it piercing? Nope. Super good. Like doomed the enemy with the least HP. Actually, this could work out well, or it could kill us completely. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna apply Doom. Yeah, it's not gonna go well. That was bad. Shield, please. Shield, please. Oh, thank God that he doesn't have very high HP. Oh, thank God. Woo, Nelly. 15 frail attack, 15%. 15 flat frail attack and 15% frail speed. Maybe. Crown of the Banshee. Crown of the Banshee. It's like divine, the divine at the beginning of combat, but weird. It buys you four seconds of potentially being okay at the end of a fight. The fact that it doesn't give any stats. I mean, I'm not saying it should. I totally did not even pay attention to if that's good or not. 15 flat frail attack. It feels like if it's frail attack, it shouldn't be 15. I feel like it should be higher than that. Am I crazy? I don't know. I guess because when you upgrade it, it gets doubled. So instead of it being 20, it'd be 30. And then at the final rank, it'd be 45. And 45%... Well, okay. The 45% frail speed at max. That's, I guess, the big thing. Uh, that, this all being said, I think I'm taking the money. And I cannot wait for uh, a shop, basically. Um, 
Genuine Thought is going for the uh, Assassin. But he poisons, though. Does that matter? Is that good? Outlaw could kind of exist in a separate lane. Gladiator gives nice, like, just huge, flat HP. All right. Um, I'll certainly admit I'm stumped. Ten percent poison. Five. I mean, but yeah, I just I'm not quite sure that I want that there. I think that we take somebody who can go here, and then we can like outlaw in the in a separate row. Sometimes. Gladiator, Juggernaut. Let's take the Juggernaut. Let's take the Gladiator. We cost... You know, mm, we've not taken the Frostmancer or the Wild Mage. If we put the Wild Mage in... If we put the Wild Mage in... I don't know. I'm super... I'm super flummoxed here. I think that we take a tank. To just have somebody who just lives. Increase your attack and defense by 20% heal for 15% max HP over 10 seconds. Protected. Uh, this also, he does give us a stun. Speed is higher. Defense is 46. You have, you have better defense. I think we do this. We just need it. We need a person who will sit there and... Not blow up. That right? Like that's that's the facts. I feel like we can probably rock either the middle or the top. Like should be. Six hundred percent shield, deal damage equal to your current HP, which could be an instant kill. Gain five negate, five hundred shield. Whether your shield is active, apply frost to attackers. Remove a random positive effect from your target if successful. Uh, I don't know, man. Who's active do we do? Oh my god, why have we not been upgrading your active? Same, like, just... I, I, I need people who will be here and take... Take hits. Alright. We just need people who will be here and take hits. That's the facts. This is rough. Okay, so that poison should be spreading. It might have been negated just there, though. Yeah, this is looking good. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking like a very solid team. Uh, immunity to silence, frost, active ability cost increase. Do you have anything we can put on you? Eh. Your attack steal MP. 10% speed. Your first 10 attacks grant 3 MP. I'm getting this dang tome. I'm getting this dang tome, and you can here, you can be immune to silence and have a hammer. Immune to shutting up and have a hammer. It's a good enough situation to me, I would I would say. Uh starting MP, gain 10% of the MP expended by enemy. Apply doom to your target, reduce their defense. Okay, maybe we can just get that removed. 
Um, reduce your target's max HP. That's kind of okay. We don't have that much healing, so I feel like this is actually all right. Okay, I love that poison going back there. Did we rebuff the doom? We did not rebuff the doom. This is not good. Okay, so we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. One death, that's fine, that's fine. Increase your defense by every active stack of frost. I, I mean, I like it. Okay, now this is interesting. I wish this was like 10%. Wouldn't that be crazy? 10% attack? I mean, well, but that's actually bad. 20% attack. Plus 20% attack. Minus 20% speed. That could be fun. But then it would get up to plus 60% attack. Would that be that bad? Like, I mean, would that be too big of a deal? Because you would have to have 100 attack to get 60 plus attack. Which I, I feel like... In that scenario, like, if you have 100 base attack anyways... I think that that could be pretty good. Because you're also getting the minus 20% speed. And if you have if you have enough to get you uh, a, a tap plus attack to get you plus 60 attack from that buff, a minus 20% speed penalty would not be that big of a deal. However, I don't know what the upgrades look like. Holy Water is very good. Let's get some focus fire damage. Get an event. Ooh, mama. Ooh, papa. Upgrade a random item for 85. What all did we upgrade? We're immune to doom. We upgraded this. We upgraded this. That worked out pretty well. <laughs> Should I have done it? No, I don't think so. But the the value just the value proposition seemed pretty high to me. I I don't know, man. I I don't want to take the bleed cuz we could lose a lot. Oh my god. Uh No, we'll just take the free money. We'll check the merchant so that we can guarantee we go into this elite with an upgrade there. What is this one here? Well, at or below 50% max HP, active ability cost costs 25 less. I do I do like the idea of that. I think there's a really fun build to go with the, uh, the outlaw and high flat attack damage and not like actively choosing to not upgrade pocket sand I think could be really interesting we're not doing that no sir I'm gonna buy another holy water bringing two holy waters into the final fight sounds pretty darn pretty darn nice eh so he's going to shuffle us the hell around. Strike two additional enemies. It's We're going to get shuffled around regardless. No. Because it's... Alright. So far, so... Fine. If we get that dupe off, we're fine. We're fine. Even if you end up dying... Which you totally could. It'd be okay. Alright, golden. Golden! Oh, wow. I'll take the money. Thanks for the ability orb, sucker. Get the Aegis up. You better believe it. Uh, and at this point, I think that we... Ooh, but then we can't go to the merchant. I'm gonna go to a normal battle, go up, then we can get an upgrade, which we will... Hmm. Berserker, okay. Okay. Do 
we do something like that? Oh god, I hate this. How much is that? 250. Oh, that's, I thought that was a burn. If we see that thing back there starting to take a little bit more damage. Nope. Not good. Not good. Good. <laughs> not good, not good, good. I feel like there's not many fights where that piercing damage is going to make a bigger impact. Uh, Royal Remedy. Awesome. Awesome potion for the final bosses. Do we sell the Dwarven Cocktail to get an upgrade? I think we do. And I think that upgrade almost has to be... The I am curious what this is, though. I mean, pretty much got to do that, right? Pretty much got it. Uh, I mean, I don't know if there's anywhere that we particularly really don't want to go. I think we just take this uh, this normal battle here, see what kind of money we can generate. Um. you do once defeated deal 100% attack damage to all enemies and all allies gain 40 MP uh, move your target to the area opposite yours redirect any enemies target to the next target I mean dude I don't know how to make this not blow up in our face quite literally I mean fingers crossed that when we kill somebody the outlaw does not go with it but we get the poison off. We got another duplicate off. Honestly, we're fine. They nothing. They nothing, dude. To all enemies and apply frost. That could be good. Your attacks increase your speed by 2%. A? A? Sure. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. 30. Do we go down? We go down. If we go up, we have to fight an elite. I don't know if I'm going to be in a position where... I well, we have 50 health. We totally could. There's not actually, like, that big of a downside, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, the start of combat, when you attack, gain... Wait. At the start of combat, and when you attack, gain a shield equal to 50% of your attack... I mean, that's hilarious. It would take so much selling to uh, to get that. I'm go I can sell that. That's not really a problem. But... Could you imagine? Like, when you attack... Because we could then take this and put it over here. The stun is not that big of a deal on the boss fight. Like that That's another thing to consider. Anything to do with the stun, not that big of a deal. Every attack increases your defense. That could be kind of interesting to just have in the back line for you to replace the stun barb as our effect of uh, of value. Oh, God, I hate these guys. They make me use my brain on placement. This is, like, low-key kind of okay, I think. There. That's yeah, low-key fine. Right? Yeah. Good enough. Good enough for me. Okay, we're going to start doing that rapid healing here. Good. Yeah, I kind of figured you might die. This is a pretty brutal team. That guy in the back line is slowly going to take us out. This is super annoying, but... Super annoying for our team, but it's okay. Tis with tis, you know? The start of combat increases your speed by 40% for 6 seconds. 
that's see that's kind of interesting we could put that here that would actually be a better thing to get let me see the map is there any more shops there's no more shops So, like, why would we care, right? Oh, boy. Okay, so... Alright, so... <laughs> Hold up. Attackers have a 35% chance to miss. Deal 200% HP, attack damage, your target, apply 5 leech. What's your deal? Remove all your targets, MP, apply burn, dealing damage equal to 5% of the amount removed. I think we almost certainly want to be doing this if nothing else uh to make it so when we get burned we don't though and there's no point to use anything like if we die we die like do we want the reward sure but we want to save up our potions more oh it's so satisfying to see the fact that we get we don't even get burnt <laughs> get countered punk get absolutely countered all right um okay okay that adds up that really adds up hmm deal 100% attack damage how much you have 80 that ain't that ain't a bad idea because we don't like we don't care about this this is actively bad on the boss pretty much okay we'll get the impaler we'll put that on the stun boyo all right we made it to the final boss area Special item, lose half your morale. I mean, like, I don't care. I can sacrifice half my morale. Attack and active ability damage you take is instead reduced by 30%. And then is instead... Oh God, I wish I would have got this earlier. Because obviously, we could have upgraded it up like this. The fact that we are immune to burn that or bleed, that would mean we take 30% less damage across the board. But then we don't have the ability, like... That reduces our ability to fully, properly shield everybody. I don't know. Because, yeah, we lose heat. Like, the morale at this point doesn't matter. We lose, we lose. It's just a resource. Okay. What's your deal? Apply bleed on enemies in the front row. Is I can't remember if it's across the entire front row. Silence in the back. Pretty decent. I think this is okay. I mean, it's like, it sucks, but, you know, it all does. It all does. We're not going to use that now. Okay. Okay. Get ready on the divine. Get ready on the old divine. So far, so fine. Hand on divine. Okay, as soon as one of these dies. Okay. It's fine. His poison lives on. Honestly, I think I wasted the divine. Absolutely did. Uh, your tax deal initial 30% attack damage to all enemies. Now that's an idea. Now that's an idea. Okay, who do we upgrade? Certainly. Okay. I don't know, man. I 
I think that's I think that's pretty good. Truth be told. What are we going to do, you know? Best we can do is try. Best we can do is try. These can be st stunned, so like that's the that's the case to be made. To all enemies, reduce max HP, gain shield for the damage dealt. I understand. Split limbs, deal 150% damage to your target and an enemy directly behind or in front of them. Apply to leech to enemies hit. It would be better if we could split, but if we split, whoever's behind you gets wrecked. Okay, so there's a, it's a no-brainer that we should use a potion. That's just a fact. In fact, we should use two. The question is, which two? We should have this on the hot switch for just-in-case reasons. Okay. I think we want to do that on the next one. All right. Okay. I used too many. I mean, I did. it's fine. I think we're okay. Because we're going to get... The poison is going to get duplicated and it's going to get sent to the boss. It's all going to get sent to the boss here. Yep. Yep. That's good. The fact that it is, uh, it is poison means it's ripping through his shield. Amazing. Good start. Good start. Good start. We still have one more here. Luckily, we have liquid courage and... Like, we saved the best for last. Okay. I think we've got this. The negate is problematic. Remove all shield and random... I mean, I hate that. Okay. Okay, the poison's on. Okay, get ready. Divine. Boom. Okay. Huge. Poison. Get the duplicate. Duplicate. We've done it. There's no way we haven't. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We did it. He says too soon. Knowing that it was going to work anyways. Oh, baby. Conqueror achievement. Beat the game without losing a single battle. And we did it on Corruption 2. Ladies and gentlemen, the brawler is unlocked. Woo! That feels great. Oh, look at him. When attacked, either deal 30% attack damage to the attacker or gain a shield equal to 3% of your max HP before getting hit. Oh, deal 150% attack damage to your target. The second time this ability is used, deal an additional 150% attack damage. The third time it's used, stun your target for three seconds. Does it alternate between the three or does it is it permanently stunned past that? This is a cool character. Ooh, that's a cool character. I cannot wait to build around him. But for now, that is that and that is going to do it. We got the uh, have 50 morale at one time. Uh, achievement there. We got defeat a boss with all heroes at full HP. We had that before. Beat the game without losing a battle. 50 positive effects on a hero at one time. Have 50 negative effects on an enemy at one time. Gain a level on every hero. We're going to give that a, a go for sure. Have 500 gold at one time. That makes sense that I don't have that. Beat the game without using a potion. Potions are so strong. I, I think I could do that on zero. Defeat an elite without any items equipped. That's crazy, but totally possible speed demon beat the game in under 30 i'm sure we could 
at some point. Defeat Corruption 20. Beat the game without any abilities upgraded. Wild, defeat Corruption 10. We're going to give it a shot, of course, but... Elites have more HP. Not bosses, elites. All right. I think we can... I mean, it, it's rough, but I think we can make that work. I like this system of Ascension. You know, kind of like the Slay the Spire slash Monster Train style. I, I enjoy it more than just like, and then they get more HP. Like, everything gets more HP and does more damage. Uh, and also, you know, just I, doing it all at once. I like doing it... I like when it's in increments like this. I think it's quite nice. But alas, that is that, and that is going to do it for today. Tomorrow, we shall enjoy the fruits of our labor with the Brawler. And by that point, hell, maybe when I come back, we'll even have other characters unlocked. Uh, because I don't know what the, the patch is going to change when it's actually out. I'm not sure. But that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on the series up to this point. Pick up this game. Link at the top of the description. Game is fantastic. Also, join the Discord. Give it some love. I know they're, uh, they're working on making a wiki. If you want to help out with that, if you want to be part of, uh, like, a, a wiki for a game like this is a really, really good uh, component for game growth due to the fact that if there's a wiki that actually has good, proper information, people are going to be less discouraged or, uh, you know, they have more information at their disposals to potentially tackle the game more effectively. So if you want to help out with the wiki, please do join the Discord with the link at the top of the description. If you help the wiki, you'll be helping the game so directly. That is going to do it for today. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.